What's up guys, it's Mike. Real question before we hop into my car today. Are you a car guy if you drive an automatic? Real valid question, right? But let's answer this question. Let's go into my Subaru. All right guys, let's hop into the car. That's the Jag, we have it for about another week and then we're getting our Range Rover back. All right guys, let's get on the road. Are you a real car guy if you drive an automatic? This age old question, the debate amongst all car guys. It seems like if you don't have a stick shift, then you're just not a man. Let me give you guys five reasons why driving an automatic still makes you a car guy. The first reason, stick shift manual transmissions are the most common transmission all over the world. Everywhere else besides the United States, manual transmissions are the most popular, which means everyone else drives it. So you're telling me that the mom, the grandma, the old man is driving stick shift makes him a real car guy? No, it's the most common transmission. That's what everyone else learns on. In the United States, we focus on the whole fact of transmissions, automatics and manuals. But in the United States, we all start off driving automatic transmissions because it's one of the most popular transmissions here in the States. So what I'm saying is manual transmissions are all over the world. Most common in Europe and in Asia doesn't mean they're still car guys. Second reason, maintenance. That is probably one of the biggest things. Now, granted, if an automatic transmission goes out on you, it can be very expensive. But all of the cars I have owned, I have ha never had an automatic transmission go out on you, ever. But I've had to replace my clutches because it's a wear and tear item. Over time, 40, 50,000 miles, depending on how you drive the car, you will have to replace your clutch. Some guys get away with it a lot longer, but replacing your clutch is a must because you can't go anywhere. You're gonna be slipping gears all the time. Third reason, and this kind of applies to people like me where we live in Southern California where there's a lot of traffic. Right now, I am sitting in traffic and my left leg is leg day, which means I have to clutch shift clutch shift as we inch forward all day. So just the convenience factor alone, an automatic transmission just logically makes more sense. The fourth reason, think about this one. When you're on a drag strip and you wanna hit that good quarter mile time or the eighth mile time, what are you gonna rely on? Your car or yourself? Well, the car will pretty, be pretty much consistent, but when it comes to yourself, there's inconsistencies in it. So why not eliminate the human error factor of a manual transmission and have an automatic? Guys who have automatic transmissions tend to hit more consistent times at the track, tend to hit better zero to 60 times, zero to 60 feet times, quarter mile times, eighth mile times. Overall, an auto transmission just makes sense for the drag strip. Fifth, and of course, not the final reason, but you guys think about, think about all the amazing, beautiful cars out there that do not come in a manual transmission. Now think about it, really think about this one. One of our cars that we all like, the Godzilla, the GTR R35, does it come in a manual transmission? Tell me, because I might be wrong. But honestly, I don't think it does. One of my most recent videos, I was in Huracan, the Lamborghini, that beautiful, amazing car, red, such an amazing car, but guess what? It was also an automatic. Technology and automatic transmissions has evolved so much that it's made the cars faster, better, more efficient, and more reliable. So why not drive an automatic transmission? So guys, think about this. Why do we need to justify if we're a car guy, if we're driving an automatic? Do we feel less of a man driving an automatic? Think about it. Let me tell you a quick story. I had a manual transmission for my first car, my second car, my third car, my fourth car, and then I think somewhere between my fifth and sixth cars, I decided to change over to an automatic because I was commuting a lot. Well, over time, I missed driving a manual so much. So guess what I did? I went out and bought my Subaru, which was my first manual transmission car back from all my automatic cars. Forever, I will love driving a stick shift, but there's times where I'm commuting home from far away, I'm driving through Los Angeles, there's a ton of traffic, and I am just tired of shifting, driving a stick shift. So having an automatic has its place in time. Does that make me less of a car guy because I prefer an automatic maybe 40% of my life? And for those of you out there, watch this. The trend of having sport cars like our cars and manual transmissions and automatics will be more prominent. So they're gonna come in two options, just not stick shifts like what we see now. The 2016 WRX, really rare, but does come in an automatic transmission. So let me ask you this. If you go out to a car meet, you see a nice 2016 Subaru WRX or STI, 
and all of a sudden you look into his cockpit and you see him drive an automatic what would you think would you immediately go this guy's not a real car guy because he drives an automatic I am gonna say no it's just his preference is completely different some guys want the sport some guys need the automatic those are the five reasons I came up with so if you guys have five other reasons let me know but in the meantime let's go ahead out and have some fun tonight what do you guys think follow along with my vlog what up oh my gosh zombie attack this car is bleeding guys look at this there's blood all over this car what's up dude how's it going mike how's it going the car is bleeding yeah <laughs> i kind of want to do like a little halloween theme for it oh, that's awesome yeah john came to pick up some primal gear and his zombie attack vehicle that could be the official zombie attack assault vehicle for primal yeah right <laughs> i know right <laughs> Move it. i was like what's plastic so. oh that's crazy that's crazy look at this it's bleeding that's cool Look at this. This is funny because Iris and I, we always talk about zombie cars and like what car would be the best for zombie attacks. There you go. It's tested. Look at this. There's blood on it already. Look, Miguel. It's bleeding. Yeah, when you're in a rush to primal, you just go ahead and hit people. See? This entire car is plastic. That's crazy. Miguel. Miguel's bringing Jonathan's goodies. Right for him. Cool. It's like we're doing uh it's like we're doing drug transactions in Primal's parking lot. Yeah. Everything's in little baggies. We hand them gold bags. <laughs> hey, they can't. Well, thanks John for coming by. He no came problem. by to pick up some stuff. Now he's on his way home. Got to get your Primal gear, guys. I know, right? Now he's like an official Primal family member. And Local the banner. Uh, the banner. And the banner. It'll just, look good just like that. Just like that. Look at that. See the banner? Yeah. Thanks for coming out. No problem. I'll be hitting you up some. All right, for sure. Zombie's dead. Lunch time, guys. I like spicy stuff. Asian Zing was good, right? I think that would be the ultimate gaming screen right there at home. I should get one of these. You can get a projector right there. Yummy. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Can we get another side of fries? Side of fries? Yeah. This is gonna be. This is Parmesan, Asian Zing, this is going to be, what is it, Chipotle barbecue, and it's going to be the Buffalo Dry Rub. I'm going to get one. Aftermath. Too. I'm full, guys. That was good. I haven't washed my car still, guys. Look at this. Leopard. Hey, I'll take you guys tonight with us. <laughs> We're going out all the way to Alhambra. Let's do this. So, is that why they were going? We're in Alhambra, downtown. First in Maine, this is Garfield. Rabbit hole. Look at this. this is pretty cool. Check this out. All right, let's go inside, guys. I'm gonna check my ID to get in here. They had to card me to get in here, guys. I look like a 13-year-old. That's why. Thursday, Thursday, first timers. Yeah, it's 21. Holy shit! We're inside the rabbit hole. I know it's a little loud, but this place is kind of cool. I'm waiting for them to tell me to stop filming. Seating's pretty cool over here. Bookshelf, nice little bar. Checking my Snapchat room with a bar. What an anti-social person I am. <laughs> yeah, shake it like your mama made it. <laughs> I have no idea what I got, guys. Hey, check this out. My shoes turn green. Look. You guys can't see it turned green. Alright guys, we're done here. Oh, look at that. It's random people. We have our wine, our liquors, and then our cocktails listed. As far as beer, click on any beer, description pops up and it'll let you know what type of beer it is. We're at 38 degrees. It's a cool place. Check it out. Nice little spot. I think it's first in Maine is where I am right now. We have onion rings. We have some salad. We have some salad. We got some mussels and then we've got a burger. Yes. Yeah. We're not allowed to use cameras, but this is a small camera, so they should let me this time. We're here. And then we got calamari and some fries, guys. I got wings and noodles. 